the Venice paintings gave me, a, gave me an opportunity to think of this one room and, and paintings of a particular scale. And then I was able to, um, uh, w at the same time I was working on smaller paintings or these other paintings, but I was able to focus on this, on this horizontal painting and this vertical painting and the relationship of these two paintings in one square room. Then that's not an opportunity I would have outside of that. So something very interesting I think happened in the paintings because of that. And so opportunities like that come, come around that, are, that offer a new direction in the studio practice. The, the, the hardest part of, of this work is to, feel, is to feel inferior to what you're trying to do, you know, like to feel that, to feel the challenge of what you're really trying to do is make some, that make this, you're involved in, in this effort to make this, 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 this piece that you feel has to exist and then the painting just Sometimes the painting comes out, and, 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 and I, my favorite paintings are the ones that I still believe in. And then the other ones, they just, they, 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 you know, they have a different, you have a different his relationship with them. It really, I think what's happening in the paintings now is this mixture of these two, where the landscape and the codex come together. And, and these elements, bec they, they become elements in the evolution of maybe a different language or or the merging of, if, so, in, and I'm thinking about that really in terms of my, the language of my work, but so that these, so that it, in, par, in parts it, they, the paintings appear as landscape or spatial, but in other parts they're very flat and very much, um, they, they seem to operate much more like an index or a codex. A lot of times with the larger paintings, I finish them for a moment, and usually we're working right up until the end. I don't know what would happen if, there, if, I, that if those deadlines didn't, exist. Um, I don't know how long it would take, to, how, if, if many times, there's a few times where I've actually asked for a painting back to finish it. And it happened with a painting for Istanbul that the MoMA now has. I, that, that painting before it was shown at the Whitney, I brought it back to the studio and worked more on it. And another painting that a collector has, I asked before it was shown again, I asked to have it back after I'd seen it after a few years and worked back into it and then it was shown again. So sometimes I work back into the painting, but uh, yeah. Finish is a difficult thing.